Welcome to the new South County Sports Zone inside the MVTV studios. I'm Gordon Spencer. The high school fall sports season is well underway. We begin with high school football and the Mission Viejo Diablos winning a championship in 2014. How would they follow that up in 2015? So far, it's been a perfect start. Diablos already 2-0 after a win in Hawaii and Bakersfield. This is their home opener. Still can't figure out what those things are. First quarter, Oak Hills scores the first touchdown of the year at Mission Viejo. Brandon Porter scrambles, finds Charles Gross, 26 yards, 7-0. Bulldogs. Mission Viejo has an answer. Isaiah Miller from two yards out. He busts his way in to tie it at seven. Still in the first. Time for more Miller. He gobbles up a lot of yards on this one. Look at him busting tackles 38 yards later. He is in for the touchdown. Mission Viejo takes a 14-7 lead. Second quarter. Mission Viejo with a fourth and one at the 46. Let's get it to Miller. That worked. 46 yards later, running all alone. Touchdown Mission Viejo 21-7 Diablos. How about the Mission Viejo defense? Brandon Porter on a broken play, nowhere to go. Colin Schooler and Christian Laval come up with the big play, stopping Oak Hills. 28-7 now Mission Viejo with under three minutes left in the half. Brendan Schooler, 22 yards to score. 35-7 Mission Viejo at the half. First halftime show at home in 2015. Third quarter, senior quarterback Brock Johnson. A strike to the back of the end zone to Zach Taylor. Six yards for the score, 42-7. Mission Viejo cruising. Oak Hills finally getting some offense going again in the third. Aramis Aldridge, two yards. And the Bulldogs trail 42-14. Mission Viejo, though, the answer. Brock Johnson, 51 yards to Austin Osborne for the score. Loses his left shoe. Doesn't matter. 49-14. They add a touchdown in the fourth. 56-27. Been a good and easy start for the Diablos. We try to schedule as tough as we can. There's no other alternative. Nobody's going to play us. So basically nobody in the county except the private schools would play us. Uh, I wish maybe by hearing that they might think that's a challenge, and that would be wonderful because we'll accept the challenge. So. Uh, we focused a little bit more in the second half, made some things happen. We ran the ball great. It was hard to get into a rhythm in the first half because we were scoring a lot of early fast touchdowns. I think we were averaging like four plays per drive. So we had a lot of fast touchdowns, which was good on one hand, but on the other hand, it was hard to get into a rhythm. 56-27, again the final. Mission Viejo with 503 yards of total offense. Miller, 106 yards and four touchdowns. Mission Viejo now 3-0. and They're averaging 48 points a game this early season. Another non-league football matchup. This is week zero game, Aliso Niguel's home opener. First quarter, third year starting quarterback Nick Chapman moving the offense, and he goes up in the air 40 yards to Blake Sable. And then that's a first down. Chapman will now dump it off to Andre Cotton. And Cotton does the rest. He'll go 22 yards. Touchdown, Alisa. The extra point is no good. It's 6 0 Wolverines. Still in the first, Nick Chapman. Again at it. He dumps it to Tyler Jones. And he makes something out of nothing. Look at him go across the field. Chapman even in on the blocking. That's good for 33 yards down inside the 25. And then it's Chapman again. Look at the touch here in the back of the end zone. 11 yard score to Nick Sable with the hands. Touchdown, two-point conversion fail. It's 12-0, Aliso Niguel, after one. Marina gets on the board in the second. Blaine Ryderick up the middle from nowhere. He finds his way, stays on his feet, 38 yards. Touchdown, Marina. They trail it 12-7. Then Aliso and Nick Chapman, a strike to Tanner Clark. Beyond the defense and down to the... Uh, the one yard line. He can't quite fight his way in. And then uh, penalties pushed him back to the 32. That's no problem, though, for this offense. Chapman 
He takes those 32 yards and turns it into a touchdown to Tyler Jones. 19-7, Aliso at the half. Wolverines a good showing to begin the 2015 season. Halftime for all ages there. Third quarter, Chapman hooks up with Tyler Jones again. This time, Jones spinning his way 28 yards on the inside slant to the pylon. Touchdown, Aliso, 26-7 Wolverines. And how about a 45-yard score? Chapman to Blake Sable. It comes down, and it's a score for Aliso, 33-7. Marina gets one back. Ryderick, four yards out. Marina trails 33-14. Fourth quarter, new quarterback for Aliso. That's Tyler Tangard running played. Merrick Yusuf gets it a yard out, 40 to 14. They win it 40 to 21 to open the um, season. Offensive defense, we performed pretty well. We needed to clean up a lot because we had over 200 yards in penalties. So we're going to work on that in practice this week of executing a little better and cleaning up maybe our attitudes and our execution on O and D. Overall, we played very well. Uh, Nick Chapman had 350 some yards. Uh, big games by receivers, Tyler Jones, Tanner Clark, and Blake Sables. Really big games by them. So the final once again, 40-21. to 21, Aliso Niguel starting the season 1-0. and oh, Nick Chapman, five touchdowns, 375 yards in the year. That was the best numbers in Orange County in week zero. Well, after that first win for Aliso Niguel, they traveled to Long Beach Milliken and dropped their game to them despite 412 yards of total offense so the wolverines now one and one on this young season when south county sports zone returns we'll take a look at girls volleyball the greatest thrills and excitement are awaiting you right in your own backyard the CIF Southern Section and your SoCal Ford dealers encourage you to go to a game at your local high school. Unbelievable action is riding your community. You'll be amazed at what you've been missing. Supporting your local school has never been more fun. Go to a game this week. Welcome back to South County Sports Zone. I'm Gordon Spencer. The Aliso Niguel Wolverines made school history by winning their first girls volleyball championship in 2014. Will they be able to repeat it again here in 2015? Good start so far in 2015 hosting Beckman. The Patriots 1-0 after they beat Tesoro to open the season. They finished second in league in 2014. Set one, Rachel Runyon serving for Aliso. Gigi Ruddens. And Katie Karens on the block. Gigi, the third run is to play at Aliso. Aliso up 11 to 8. Beckman stays in on a 9-3 run. Jill Schneggenberger serves on the miss hit by Aliso. 17-14, Beckman. Beckman fought off Aliso but never trailed after that. Katrina Lieberman serves up for set point. Michelle Feliciano back sets to McKenna Ross. Dug out by Beckman and Hannah Schneggenberger. The perfect spot. Beckman wins set one, 25 23. Beckman loose and relaxed now up 1-0 behind coach Darren McBain. Set to Aliso dealing aces. First Pearson battle serves one up. And then Michelle Feliciano the ace hitting the line. 15-11 Aliso. Catherine Plummer on a serving run. Not the ace but Sarah Feliciano with the finish for Aliso. The Wolverines win set two, 25-14 to tie it at one set apiece. D.P. Butler feeling better after leading that set start to finish. Set three, impressive showing by Beckman. Off the Katrina Lieberman serve, McKenna Ross's hit is blocked by Jill Schneggenberger. Beckman wins set three, 25-22, up two sets to one. Darren McBain still coaching them up. He's one more here to upset the number one team. Set four, Aliso has to battle back down early, and the senior leads them back. Catherine Plummer, the block, Aliso ties it at nine. Aliso finishes on a 16-7 run off the Rachel Runyon serve. Nice save, Gigi Ruddens the hit for Aliso. Played by Beckman, then Plummer will put it away right here 
Aliso ties the match at two sets apiece, winning 25 to 16. Nice comeback by the number one team to force a fifth set. Set five to 15. Tied at five, Sophia Hosokawa serving. Gigi Ruddens and Kirsten battle on the block. 6-5, Aliso. Aliso to Gal showing why they are number one. Finishing on a 10-2 run. Again, it's Ruddens and battle. And now match point. The error by Beckman into the net, and the Wolverines complete the comeback down two sets to one to win it three sets to two. Yeah, I mean, it's we've literally had four practices. So, I mean, it's early in the season, and we're just trying to gel, trying to, you know, get our lineups down, get our hard work, you know, just get in the groove of things. So, uh, yeah, I'm proud of these girls regardless if they win or lose. It doesn't matter. So, Yeah, um, I think we're still trying to kind of figure out each other out. Um, we're a new team. We have a lot of young players, and we kind of have to get acquainted with each other more. Beckman's a good team. They fought till the end. So, um, yeah. What a match to set the tone for the 2015 season. Elisa Nagel down two sets to one, comes back to win three sets to two. McKenna Ross, 16 kills. Plummer with 19 to lead everyone. And Feliciano, 27 assists. Aliso starts the season 2-0. and oh. Another good girls volleyball matchup between Laguna Beach and Santa Margarita. Santa Margarita tied for first in the Trinity League in 2014. They lost in the second round of the playoffs. Set number one, Laguna Beach holding the lead. Sage Patchell, the high shot dug out by the Eagles, but they can't save it, 9-7 Laguna Beach. Santa Margarita on a 7-3 run now. Devin Chang sets Megan McClure, the kill, 16-10 Santa Margarita. Then it's Chang on the short set to Haley Carmo, who pushes it over. Santa Margarita wins set 125-18. to Katie Daly there on the left in her fourth year at Santa Margarita. Set two, watch this play off the left to kill by Jamie Robbins into the hoop. Laguna Beach up four to three. Laguna Beach serving. Aspen Roca serves back to Santa Margarita to kill. But Aliyah Post blocks for Laguna Beach, seven to four. Laguna Beach with a lead, good point here. Haley Carmo gets two opportunities. And finally, she'll put away the kill. 12-8, Santa Margarita. Eagles cruise in set two after an 8-3 run. Devin Chang, this time she gets the kill right here. And Santa Margarita wins at 25-16 to go up two sets to none. Laguna Beach needs to win three straight now. Set three, Santa Margarita going for the sweep, and they are cruising. Sarah. Sizek sets Haley Carmo, 9-1 Santa Margarita. Laguna Beach serving, and Sarah Sizek fakes all of them out right there. 22-8 Santa Margarita. Match point is a good one. A good rally here. Back and forth they go, but Ashley Campbell will get the finish for the Santa Margarita Eagles as they cruise in this match. In three sets, winning the final. 25 to 12. I think Haley Carmo stepped up um, in the middle. I think she was hitting around 400. I think she had, I don't want to say, but in the teens kills. And it's nice to see a sophomore just step up. And I think that's a big difference from last year is we relied a lot on our outsides. And now, you know, our defense is stepping up and our middle and our right side. So. So the sweep for Santa Margarita at home over Laguna Beach. Haley Carmo with 11 kills. And McClure had nine kills in the sweep over Laguna Beach. Well, congratulations to the Eagles on a good early start to the girls' volleyball season. That's going to wrap things up here at the South County Sports Zone. I'm Gordon Spencer. Don't forget, you can watch all the episodes at missionviejolife.org. And now we are available on Aliso Viejo Television. You can find us on Channel 850. Thanks for watching the South County Sports Zone. <laughs>